by my November 13th people. Come on in, because this video is all about you. Today, from the Secret Language of Birthdays, I'm going to read for you the personality profile for people born on your birthday. It's called the Day of the Commentator. So I'm curious to know if you guys are the ones that are always commenting on everybody's stuff, maybe the first to comment, right? Let's get into your reading. Just take what resonates with you, leave what doesn't for somebody else who was born on November 13th. So, the day of the commentator. Those born on November 13th are generally perceptive and insightful when commenting on their times. Regardless of what walk of life they inhabit, they often make statements about what is going on around them to attract attention. Everything interests them, but particularly matters of social or political nature. Whether they call their knowledge from reading newspapers, watching TV, or studying historical or sociological books, they tend to have strong opinions about how things work or don't work as the case may be. A problem for many November 13th people is that they do not put equivalent energy into themselves in terms of self-development and understanding. Not you, right? You're here, you're watching this. Because their interests are so outwardly oriented, they run the risk of superficiality. Those who know them may find them outgoing and entertaining, but at the same time, not deeply grounded. However, more highly evolved individuals born on this day make an effort to learn from and internalize their interests, forming a vital bond between their internal process and the world around them. These latter people are powerfully equipped to advance their cause as fully realized individuals. Excuse me. November 13th people often find themselves divided between rational, common sense apprehension of the world on the one hand and traditional religious convictions on the other. Though often strict rationalist in their early to middle years, they may at some point undergo a powerful conversion to spiritual or religious belief systems. When undergoing this process of conversion, they may not feel it necessary to abandon logic or reason, but rather make it work for them in finding ever new support for their beliefs. Such November 13th people generally are not zealots who believe blindly, but optimists whose faith is based on seeing the world around them as living proof of the spirit of God and wonder of existence and of nature. November 13th people are nonetheless passionately convinced of their point of view. Though opposed to all forms of injustice, they themselves may express their opinions in a dogmatic or authoritarian fashion. Thus it is important to make thus it is important that they make a conscious effort to listen openly to the opposing side and whether they agree with what is said or not, take in what is useful to them. Above all, November 13th people are realist and therefore, and therefore, for the most part, immune to false schemes and dubious arguments. Those born on this day react strongly against any system they consider unworthy of their loyalty whether it be a company, association, union, or club, because they, because they can be unspoken, even argumentative in this respect, they should be aware of a tendency to antagonize powerful people or make enemies. Cultivating modesty and simplicity is a key for them, as well as never forgetting their roots, no matter how far they find themselves from home, literally or figuratively. All right, that was a lot. So that is something for you to digest as a November 13th person. Um, what I will say, and I've said this for, uh, I've said this about halfway through the mark of the Scorpio readings because that's when I started noticing this pattern. Um, it's just how consistent the themes are in the Scorpio. Um, you know, there's going to be things that come up for, for, for a lot of people. But in all the other signs that I've read, I just don't see this kind of consistency, this just like narrow path that Scorpio walks, whereas other signs walk this like 
wider path, you guys are like, nope, this this is what we do. So if this was insight on you and I trust that some part of this resonated for you. Perhaps not all of it, it's okay. The book wasn't written for you. It was written for November 13th people. Um, but if you want more insight on your sign, I would highly recommend, and, I'm, and I haven't said this for any other signs, just for Scorpio, I would highly recommend that you at least watch the videos before and after your birthday, but if not all of them, because you're just gonna see this. Again, the, the, the main word that comes to mind is just how consistent you are in what it is that you guys do. And <coughs> I'm getting really passionate here because I've really enjoyed reading for Scorpio. So let's get to the advice before we go and before I start coughing. Work on yourself. Find your center, then forge a bond with the world. Remain aware of the effect you have on others. Learn to listen at a deep level. Be mindful of your involvement. <coughs> oh, there it came. So I gotta let you guys go. Thank you so much for watching. Take care.